How do you build an online business from editing photos? So photo editing is becoming a really profitable industry online because a lot of companies are looking for well edited photos to post on Instagram, Facebook and other photo sharing websites. So they need photos with like good colors, good touch ups, uh, maybe it's a, um, they need to remove something from a photo. So if you know how to edit photos, you could build a profitable online business easily. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video and then how to sell these new skills that you just learnt on this website called Fiverr.com. Then towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you another thing you can do to actually make this into passive income. So you can actually hire other people to edit photos for you and then all you do is just kind of play the middleman. So I'll show you how to do that towards the end of the video. So this is what you're going to learn. You're going to learn how to change colors, something like this, on a t-shirt or on like a, a maybe a background or something like that or it could be like a cutout like like this so you cut out the background and just leave the person there or could be uh, maybe just editing some of the like makeup videos something like this there's all types of different things that people ask for and you could charge anywhere between five US dollars all the way up to 200 200 US dollars so this is uh, showing in New Zealand dollars right now but uh, seven uh, New Zealand dollars is about five uh, US dollars so you're going to learn how to use uh, Photoshop to edit these photos. So if you don't know how to use Photoshop, it's actually much easier than you think. I've made uh, Photoshop tutorials in the past in, in this channel before, and people have emailed me telling me that they've just sold a gig on Fiverr from the uh, tutorials that they learned from this video. So they didn't know anything about Photoshop before, but uh, they just learned it easily just from this one video and they sold a gig on Fiverr.com. So now they're uh, on their way to like a profitable online business. So if you know how to uh, use Photoshop, you have a huge advantage over everyone else. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do and there's also a free 30 day trial on Photoshop as well. I'll show you how to get that soon. Then I'm going to show you how to sell your skills on Fiverr.com. So all you have to do is just make a free account on Fiverr.com and just make a post just like one of these, like I will do a high-end beauty product or how I will do professional editing on Photoshop. I will change the color of anything and you just tell them how much you charge for each of these services. So after that, towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to outsource all of the work. So you don't have to do any of the work, it just becomes passive income. So you might be getting requests to do like, you know, towards, not right away, but maybe in a few months, you might get requests for like 200, 400 uh, photos per day. And obviously you, you can't edit 400 photos per day. So you have to have to um, hire other people and just pay them like a monthly fee and they'll do all the editing for you. So you just take the profit and just pay them uh, the monthly fee. And I'll show you how to do that towards the end of the video using two of my favorite websites. So let's get started with this. So the first thing you need to do is go to Fiverr.com and click on become a seller. So this is where you create your um, uh, your gig. So you just tell them what your the skills that you're selling. So this uh, so uh, if, if you're selling photo editing, just tell them I will uh, edit a photo for you. I will cut the background up for you or something like that. So let's go back here. Uh, all you do is just uh, come to Fiverr.com, click on become a seller, and you'll be uh, brought to this page. So if you're editing photos. Uh, I am a designer is a good one to go with. Let's say you're a writer, you can just click on I am a writer, there's a video editor, there's heaps. So just click on I am a designer, click on start selling, and this is where you just uh, publish your gig. So you just tell them put your name on it, put your, um, uh, you don't have to put your actual name on it, you can just put in a username. Uh, you can also um, add some uh, examples of works uh, that you've done in the past and all that. So it's really easy to do that, just get that done, then you'll start getting some um, um, uh, jobs coming your way. So at the start, you should only charge them $5, which is that's the minimum that you can charge when you first get started. And then later on, you can increase the price. Once you start uh, getting in a lot of requests, you can uh, increase the price. So I'll just charge them $5 at the start. And then once you get some requests, you can just edit the photos for them. So the next thing is you need Photoshop. So just go to Google and just search up Photoshop free trial. So Photoshop free trial. And it should be the first link right here. There's a seven day trial right here. And then it only costs uh, $14 per month. So Photoshop used to cost $800 uh, upfront cost, but now it's only $14 with a seven day free trial. So you can try out the seven day free trial. If it doesn't work for you, you can um, yeah, get rid of it, just cancel the subscription. So it doesn't require like a credit card or anything for this. Uh, uh, for the seven day trial, you can just try it out. If it doesn't work, you can just un uninstall it. So it works both on Mac and on Windows. So once you've done both of those things, you'll start getting some requests to edit photos. Uh, 
So this is a, a website called pixels.com with a bunch of copyright free images that we can use. So I'm just going to find one of these images here and edit the photos. So the example that I'm going to show you in this video is how to change the color from a photo. So it could be they could request something like change the yellows on this photo to a green or could be change the orange on her sunglasses to a red. So something specific like that which is really easy to do. So let me find you find a good example of a photo. So let's change the red from this guy's photo here to maybe like a yellow color. So let's click on uh, right click and copy the image and let's go into Photoshop. So this is an image that I was editing before and I was just kind of change, changing this into like a green color. So let's go uh, to open a new canvas just go to file and new and right here these are all the uh, sizes and size of the image and the resolution of the image. So you just choose the size of the image if you just go to um, click right here on pixels and choose inches it shows you how big the image is in uh, inches and also change the resolution from 72 to 300. So you have to change it to 300 if you're if you're planning to actually print the photo or if you actually want like a high quality photo. So don't make it any higher than uh, 300 or um, any lower than 300. So just leave it at 300 at pixels per inch. So just leave it at pixels per inch not pixels uh, per centimeter. So once you've done that you don't need to change anything else just click on create and this is the empty canvas that we've got now. So I'm going to click uh, edit paste right here and that's the image that we just copied. So to make this image bigger just go to edit free transform right here. So now all you do is just drag this image, the boxes on the image and the image becomes uh, pixelated but it doesn't matter because after, you, after you're happy with the size of the image just click enter and it becomes a good quality. So there's two layers right here so this is the background layer uh, that's the white background and this is the photo layer on top of it um, which is the uh, photo that we just pasted. So if you want to create a new layer just click on new layer right here this is the new layer icon or you can go to uh, edit uh, I mean layer and, and new layer. So once you make a new layer you can uh, paint over it just like this and you can move whatever is on top as long as that that layer is selected so we just painted like a white line over it and you can s uh, select which layer uh, you want to move and you can move this and if you want to move the photo layer you can move that so that's how you control the layers so I'm just going to delete the, this layer at the top so to delete this layer just drag and drop it to these uh, to this bin icon right here so that's how easy it is to uh, um, play around with this uh, layer uh, part right here so this is a really important part because if you make everything on the same layer then it becomes hard to edit this image so what we want to do with this image is change this guy's shirt to uh, maybe like a yellow or a blue color or something like that. So for that I'm going to choose this icon right here which is called selective color. So just click on that and click on selective color. So this box opens up right here. So what it's going to do is edit any photo below this layer. So that's just the um, uh, photo layer right here. So it's saying that it's it's chosen all the yellows from this photo. So what we wanted to choose is the reds from this photo and then we're going to change it. So let's choose reds right here and it's going to pick all the reds from this photo and now we can change it. So if you play around with all these bars right here, so all these numbers, so let's just play around with that so you, you can see it change as I play around with it. So now it's just changed into a, like a yellow shirt. So now maybe let's play around with it a bit more and it ch just changed into a blue shirt, I mean a, a pink shirt. So now that's quite bright so maybe you can slightly make it a bit lower. Maybe I'll bring it down a little bit there. So now it's kind of like a uh, an orange shirt. But what happened is um, the the dogs and the floor, the reds on the floor actually turned, um, uh, uh, I think it turned into like a yellow color as well. So originally it was kind of red so you can see the reds on the floor and the red on the dog as well so now it's gone yellow so we only want the shirt to be uh, yellow so what we can do is right here on the selective color uh, layer there's this little uh, uh, white box so what this is uh, showing is it's telling us that the entire image is being edited so that box represents this entire box right here so what we can do is choose this uh, paintbrush icon right here and choose a black color and when you paint over it with a black color you can see the reds starting to come back and I don't know if you can see that but you can see a red line written uh, just right over that uh, white box so we've just kind of deleted anything yellow um, around that uh, uh, 
part of the uh, canvas right here. So if you just keep doing that over and over again, and maybe around the dog as well. Let's bring back her red shoes and the red floor. So let's just bring all of that red back. And we just want the shirt to be red. So now all of the red is back. And as you can see, that black part on that bottom of that box is what we just edited into, um, uh, what we just uh, uh, deleted from that editing of the yellow color. So it's kind of uh, complicated to explain, but basically you just kind of uh, only want to edit the top part. So anything that's white at the top gets edited into um, anything from red to uh, orange, and then anything at the bottom stays the same. So that's called masking. So that's kind of the basics of how to change uh, a color on a photo. So let me show you maybe another example as well. So let's find something like this. So this, or maybe this is better, this parrot right here. Let's copy this. And let's go into Photoshop, and I'm going to paste that image in. And again, I'm going to make this bigger. So just go edit, transform, free transform. Let's make it bigger. Cool. So let's say I want the yellows to be like a red or something like that. So again, let's choose this icon right here and click on selective color. So now it's, it's saying that it's choosing all the reds from this image. So let's click on colors and choose yellow. So now it's going to pick out all the yellows. So it should pick out all of this right here. And it might pick out some of the background yellows right here as well. Some of the, these are like slightly yellow. So let's play around with this and see what happens. So as you can see, it's kind of, yeah, so it just turned into pink. So now it's turning a bit more red. Now it's a bit more orange. So you see to kind of play around with this until you get the right color. So let's just, maybe I'll just try pink. And you can also choose from relative to absolute, which is kind of another effect that it gives. So that's quite bright. It's kind of a bright yellow color, I guess. So let's see. Okay, so there's a good red. But that's a bit too red, so let's just keep playing around with this. So we can just keep playing around with this. So this is what you do. You're just going to keep playing and playing until you kind of get the right color. So now we just kind of change it into like a slight red. And now what you can also do is you can um, select another selective color. So there's two of them. And maybe this time you choose the oranges or something like that. So maybe you can still play around with this and still try to, try to make it a bit more red. So I'm going to choose, uh, since there's no orange option here, you can choose neutrals. So this kind of changes the entire image. So watch what happens here. So this is changing the entire image, not just the, um, the yellow parts. So it kind of gives it like a nice good effect. Yeah, so I'm kind of happy with that, but I'm actually getting rid of it. So this this is probably a bit better, but I guess the yellow's changed, and it's kind of given it like a nice orange color over the top. So now what you want to do is maybe you want the background to come back to the original color. So now you just click on the uh, white box again, and again you choose a brush, and make sure it's on a black color. And now you just paint over it, and now you can see the background coming back to the, the original color. So now there's a bit more yellow in it now. So that's how you change the colors on a photo. And if you want to learn more things you can uh, things about Photoshop, like cropping out the background and all that, then I've made uh, more videos on that before, so go check it out on my channel. So people have emailed me as saying that they've actually uh, sold a lot of gigs on Fiverr with the skills that they learned from cropping photos. So that's how you uh, edit photos on Photoshop. So now all you have to do is just go to Fiverr.com and just uh, Tell them what you do and how you, what type of photos you edit. Maybe you can do like a before after photo and then you can just start selling your services. So once you do that and you charge like $5 per photo, you're going to start getting a lot of requests and you're getting, you're going to get like, you know, five to 10 to then like 50 to a hundred photos. And obviously you can't edit like hundred photos per day. So what you do is you go to this website here called onlinejobs.ph or this website called Upwork.com. So let me show you onlinejobs.ph first, which is a, uh, a website from the Philippines. And you can hire really cheap uh, photo, editing, photo editors from the Philippines. So I'm just going to type in photo editors. So this might say like $500 per month or $1,000 per month. That might sound like a lot. 
But if you're making like, you know, $30 per day from Fiverr.com, which is like $1,000 per month, all you have to do is just uh, take a fraction of that payment and just pay this person who only charges $388 US per month. And this person does, uh, I'm not sure what this person does, but they're a virtual assistant. So I just typed in photo editors and all, these are all the jobs that came up. So they do all types of different things, not just photo editing, like virtual assistant, Shopify. There's so many different things here. And you can also go to Upwork.com, which is a bit more expensive. So you can touch, uh, just type in photo editors. So these guys charge uh, on an hourly basis, not a monthly basis. But these guys will be more expensive because they're not from uh, the Philippines. A lot of them are from like the US, Canada and all that. So this person charges $12.50 an hour, uh, $11 an hour, $55 an hour. So you can t start with something like this. You can go as low as like $5 an hour if you click on filters and you click on uh, hours uh, paid per hourly rate and you can choose ten dollars or below and that's it so now if you just click on yep so this person only charges ten dollars per hour seven dollars per hour five dollars an hour so let's say you only get them to work like you know three hours a day that's only like fifteen dollars per day and if you're making like $30 per day, you just keep the $15 profit. So eventually, you just got to keep working your way up. Just keep um, uh, ranking all these uh, gigs on Fiverr.com. Just make as many gigs as possible, not just one. Make one gig that tells you, I will change the colors on a photo. Make another gig that says, I will change the, I will cut out the background on a photo. And just do as many gigs as you can. And eventually, you'll have an entire like um, a brand built on Fiverr.com. So that's how easy it is to build an online business just by editing photos with um, Photoshop and Fiverr.com. So I hope this video was helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.